now coming to the uh, step and touch potential uh, and mix voltage checking as per ieee standard to design underground ground grid so this is the power house data x direction by y direction this is 350 meter by 800 meter lx and ly so you can change the values here whatever highlighted in yellow color you can uh, you can change the values and depth of body that is 0 0.6 meter that is 600 mm from surface underground this main ground grid will be laid and grid spacing is considered as 40 meter you can change also so all these four values are variable you can change these are the input parameters you need to provide okay so this maximum diagonal spacing is coming as per the uh, calculation in spreadsheet no uh, nothing to do here and area of grid also this is 28 uh, 280000 square meter so total total area it is coming like this now the total and uh, this is the length of each ground rod is considered as lr considered as 3 meter or as per the project specification you can see in the specification uh, that this is the this is very standard that 3 meter length 3 meter length uh, electrode that means ground rods and total length of grid conductor lc lc this is 15150 meter as per the calculation uh, as um, uh, based on the input provided from the uh, area power wash area and the peripheral peripheral length of grid conductor also and um, so this is two times of x direction y y direction so this is coming to 300 meter now coming to the ground rods here so ground rods for LA this is total 18 numbers in this project we have used for lightning arrester for each lightning arrester that should be one number at, uh, one number ground rods to consider and peripheral peripheral of the power area total 34 numbers so these are the input uh, parameters you can change uh, based on the project requirement power transformer neutral total 36 numbers transformers were there so for each transformer we have considered uh, for each transformer neutral we considered one number ground rod so total requirement is 36 numbers so for LA 18 numbers peripheral area, peripheral area 34 numbers and power transformer neutral 36 numbers so total number is coming 88 total length of ground rods then three times of 88 because each ground rod length is 3 meter here this is 3 meter so total length of ground rod is coming 264 uh, so uh, meter this is the value of LR so now LC total length of grid conductor this is the LC and here we have I got the value of LR so with the help of this LC and LR we can uh, proceed further the calculation of the effective body length in meter effective body uh, length in meter that is LM LM equals to LC plus uh, this formula and this formula is coming from I triple eighty. I can show you in I triple eighty. Yeah. Here you can see this LM equals to LC plus. So this formula, this formula, this formula has been used here to calculate the 
value of lm this is for mesh voltage calculation so lm the mesh voltage is coming this next is coming ls ls equals to ls equals to effective buried length so effective buried length equals to uh, 0.75 lc plus 0.85 lr this is also uh, i triple e 80 yeah this formula you can see this formula is used here so this is what this ls value is required to calculate the step voltage so uh, this ls value is coming 11587 so up to this we have calculated uh, value of lm lm and then ls okay so next reference depth of uh, grid one meter irregularity factor this is also uh, as per IEEE this is required ki ii value okay because this is for uh, the rods which are uh, being considered for perimeter and as per this formula we will calculate the value of ks So this is this is the formula to find out the value of Ks as per I triple E80. So here we have uh, calculated the value of Ks and also um, the value of Cs it is required. This is also as per I triple E80. Next we need to check the ground grid resistance. The value of uh, RG okay. so this is the formula uh, again from IEEE 80 we have calculated the value of RG as 0 0.0228 now the main thing is coming to check the touch and step voltages to check the touch and uh, step voltage we have the formula for permissible touch voltage e touch 50 for 50 kg body weight uh, this is the formula e touch uh, 50 so this formula is coming from i triple e 80 so this is uh, e touch 50 this is the formula and this is e step e step 50 so using these formulas you can see this e touch 50 value is coming um, 354.76 volts now uh, this is the uh, permissible touch voltage now we need to calculate the mesh voltage e mesh based on the estimated length m uh, lm so previously we have calculated the value of lm yeah here the value of lm 15560.31 mesh voltage so using the mesh voltage we, uh, value we need to uh, use that value in this formula as per IEEE 80 and we need to calculate the mesh voltage this is coming 124.89 volts so this should be less than this e touch value so it is coming 124 and touch voltage permissible touch voltage is 354 volt that means 
and this design is okay so this should be within the permissible uh, touch limit if it exceeds the permissible uh, touch voltage this value uh, then there will be error so you need to modify the design again considering uh, more number of uh, more number of uh, um, you know ground conductors that means ground rods and also the peripheral ground uh, ground grid and reducing the spacing within the ground grid design so this is uh, this checking is done for touch potential now we will uh, check the step step voltage so permissible step voltage uh, e step this is the formula again as per IEEE this is the formula and we are getting using this formula e step 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 voltage is 926 volt and this should be uh, compared with the um, based on the uh, you know the step voltage which is calculated based on the effective bullet length ls so previously we have calculated the value of ls here and this is ls is the effective effective buried length 0.75 uh, lc plus 0.85 lr so this is the value of ls so using this value of ls uh, we need to calculate this uh, step voltage based on the ls so this is coming as 45.46 volts uh, this is well below the permissible step voltage 926.89 volt uh, that means this design is uh, okay if it is not meeting the criteria then you need to modify the uh, ground grid design again so this touch and step voltages are already checked now if you see that video uh, where i have discussed uh, the ground grid design using etf uh, software you can uh, see i uh, in in case of throwing uh, some errors i have modified their uh, changing the uh, you know uh, increasing the um, number of ground rods and uh, ground grid materials and reducing the spacing also and also uh, this the most important thing is the optimization so cost and design optimization this is required for the engineering design purpose this is this feature is already available in etap software so using this uh, uh, this feature i have optimized there uh, you can uh, check that video also so this is the basic thing uh, whenever you are going to design the uh, underground grid as per IEEE standard the main thing is to check the mesh uh, mesh voltage ground grid uh, and grid current grid resistance and grid current and then you need to check the potential this uh, touch and step potential so these if these are the within permissible limits then your ground grid design is uh, okay okay uh, in the next video uh, uh, i think i should cover about the uh, algorithm for this ground grid design as per IEEE standard.